Oh my god. Here we go. Okay, whole day. Sunglasses are on, blue skies are slowly turning gray, but I will take what I can get. 53 isn't bad. A little bit of sun, I'm seeing shadows, sunroofs open. Yeah! You guys remember this CD? This song, I think it's called Fabulous. It's nothing short of fabulous. Look at that, 54 degrees now, not too bad. Ladies and gentlemen, 5.40 I p.m. and it is still pretty nice outside. 56 according to Google Maps. The car's staying right around 55. Honda's gone. They just went to dinner somewhere. So I'm thinking, uh, I've been back in the car and how nice does that look? I've been thinking I'm going to pull this one out. All the other crap that's around here. Jack, this thing in the back. Get a blower in here. They're, they're just sludge and shit in here from winter. Um, a lot of salt under both cars. A little bit of carbon here from the M. And, uh, and clean this out because it's nasty. And back here in the corner, I know there's there's just crap. So we're gonna clean the garage out. Uh, that will be nice. A nice clean garage. And I think I need to get gas. No, that's all right. I need oil. I need to mix up the gas oil mix. And my grandfather gave me this light today that he had. It's been sitting in his basement. Can definitely use this out in the car. Not in the car, but with the car. It's a uh, uh, 500 watt quartz halogen light. Um, so you know me, I'm always out here late doing stuff with the car and I can never see it, so now I have a light to be able to see with, which will be awesome. Not bad. Not bad at all. Blew it out, took out about seven pounds of rocks and cobwebs and stuff that is now off in the yard. Then washed it down and the water was disgusting, but there's now no longer big white crustaceous patches. There's a little bit of, of membranes from the Ferrari when it lived here. That's from the Ferrari coming out of the garage after a wash. This is all the Honda's crap over the last 25 years. Yes, I think a Honda has lived in this house for 25 years. And this is all the stuff that actually needs to be in the garage. There's two things that will be going in this light. I will no longer need since I have the better light organized over there. My glasses probably won't need it. A little bit of salt, we'll throw that up above the garage in the attic. We got a bike, there's the blower I have to do all that work on. Snow blower, lawnmower, uh, trimmer. One shovel left just in case I put the other one up there. And a broom and trash can and a ladder. And that's it. So now I get to move the car back in and that's another job done. And I'm not even cold. It's probably 6 o'clock. The car probably thinks it's about 50. I know better than that. It feels very nice out here. Let's see what she thinks. Key and ignition. 52. Not too bad. Okay, consider the garage project done. One less thing to do. I'm going to pull that light in and figure out where I want to keep that now. And um, that's it. Kevin's coming over tonight. We're going to work on some stuff uh, with the car related. And then I think we're going to wash it tomorrow. This will be the first time that's been washed under his ownership. It's dirty and the weather's been bad. And tomorrow's like 57 and cloudy, so that's actually a pretty perfect weather. Could be a little warmer. Um, but cloudy is better to wash a car, as you know. It won't water spot like crazy one. Uh, but the weekend is going to, or the week, 
it's going to rain and then it's going to go back down in the 30s and then back up into the 40s and there's like a 30 percent chance of snow i don't anticipate anything sticking and them needing salt but this is ohio it's not going to stay clean but it'll be nice to see at least what kind of paint condition we have to work with pizza how's it going red zeppies suck it Look, it's an E39. It's a different view for you. It is a different view. I like this uh, this part, this, you like this, this view. Thing. It's really comfortable, I and mean, you guys have seen this. Actually, it's not it's not on the channel yet, but you're working on that, right? Yeah, I am. Yep. So we just had our dinner, and I'll unblind you there. Where are we going? We are going back to my house okay. first. Back to his house, and we'll show you what shenanigans we'll get ourselves involved with. Yeah, welcome Walmart. Friggin' right. We are over here to buy sandpaper for the hood. Not as much as the hood of the as the headlights. We're gonna do what uh, what Colt did to his, and it should be good. Don't pull in back into these spots, lazy son of a bitch. See where it went. Ha! You thought it was the M5. It isn't. It's a 525. We're doing some work on the car tonight, starting with a really, really difficult procedure, uh, the Philips Silver Vision PY21W bulbs. Um, I'll do a little demo here. We come over on one of the sides and we pull, and then we twist, and then we pull again to reveal this. This is a uh, regular bulb. We turn this around and then put in the PY21W. Okay, uh, the PY21Ws are in, which means that's now clear instead of orange. And it's, they work, they work good. And it's a good improvement. Yes. Now we're gonna move on to those. One halo and one bright, or uh, low beam bulb has been changed. A key in position too, and we'll see the difference. Uh, I'm actually using this light my grandfather gave me. We'll turn this off for the time being. You can kind of see the flip isn't going to be great at this. The one, the passenger side, has been altered at this point. We need wide enough angle lens here. Not really. There's the new stuff. 6,000K headlight as well as uh, angel eye bulb, and that's the old stuff. What do you think? Good difference. Massive improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Very good improvement. So if I stand over here, it looks any better. Let's switch places. All right. Can't really tell on the flip, but it looks nice. After quite a bit of fighting, both sides are done. Uh, to make everything fit in there was just a treat upon treat. Low beam 6000K LED, or, uh, LED. What are those called? Yeah. Angel eyes. We're gonna be doing some detailing in here. And, uh, and that would be that upgrade, so. Now that part's done. This thing's about to get branded. We just did as much as we could <laughs> with the paint under here. There's quite a few swirls in the clear. You can still see where the old one was, but it is a lot better than what we didn't treat. And look how beautiful that color is. Here, hold the camera. I'm gonna get the light up here. Now, this light shows all imperfections. You put it on my car, it looks horrible. You guys would be disgusted. Does it show? No, not that badly. Maybe in post- Filmed by, film by here, where we didn't clean. Yeah, look at that. This oh. will be getting clean tomorrow. So yeah, she's filthy, but. This light is ridiculous. You could live in the trunk now. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Warm? That's really hot. Oh, my <laughs> God. Holy crap. This would be great for doing brakes now. Yeah. I don't want to break, break my, my camera. All right, here we go. I expect perfection. There's the two. I, you can actually see it. Do it from here. Who knew that this thing would come into my life the day that I needed it? It's like a prostitute. Oh, nice! Couple presses. 525! We'll get the eye on there later. Oh, rub it. Rub it. We just tried the Z2 and the Z5 and the Z8. It sends chills down Just on the C pillar, and it feels amazing. It is glass. And we're totally fingerprinting it now, but if the whole car's filthy, it's gonna be washed tomorrow. Anyways, we did that. We also removed the Sirius radio setup that somebody had in here. There was an antenna here. It was a pain in the ass. It snaked 
up under the stuff in the interior and then went under the glove box. We had to take the glove box out, take out the CD player and the MID. Colt, you are doing way better with that stuff than we are. Damn, it took us, what, like two hours? Yeah. An hour at least to get all of that out. So that's now totally been removed. We're gonna get the Honda back in here for the night and uh, tomorrow we will resume with washing this thing because it's, I, I got the big light turned off now, but as you can see, it's pretty bad. Oh, they're doing the bulb checks. There we go. There are some headlights and the uh, the other lights. 